guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Brandy Chanel and I know it has been a long time since I've sat down and filmed a video with you guys. I've been putting out content but it's been different kind of content, just inspirational things. But this one, this one is true to my roots and it's been way too long so I was excited to get down and film with you guys today. In today's video, we have something that you might call a inspired by, look alike, um, just some things that you can get to look for less with. So without further ado, today's video, we got some lookalike pieces for you today. Okay, guys, it is fall and it is my favorite time of year. I don't know, but today was the first day in Oklahoma that it actually felt like fall. It is, it was like 60 degrees this morning. My son had a field trip. So this is mommy going on a field trip with SunFit. And yes, new spectacles video coming soon. But let's go ahead and get into this. So you guys know we love a good Amazon moment here on this channel because Amazon has all the looks for less, right? Your designer shoes, handbags, clothes, all the things. In today's video, we're featuring some of our favorite fall shoe trends that look like some of your favorite designers pieces. All can be purchased from Amazon, all our dream pairs. And I want to thank dream pairs for sponsoring today's video. Y'all, it's fall. Let's get into these looks. You know, I have been doing my fragrances um, it, at the beginning of these videos lately, and today is going to be no different. So for today's fragrances, I have a little bit of a hodgepodge mix and match situation, and it's all super affordable. I have on three fragrances today. And today, like I said, it was very cool outside, pretty cold, especially relative to what it's been lately. And I started with this fragrance here. This is Tahari's Midnight Orchid. You guys, this fragrance smells so good. I picked mine up from Marshalls or TJ Maxx. I think this one's from TJ Maxx, but you can get it from Marshalls or TJ Maxx. But if they don't have it, they do still sell this retail. When I tell you guys this fragrance is every single thing, it's sensual, it's sexy, it's warm. This is exactly how I want it to feel. I want it to feel cozy, but I still want it to feel like I smelled amazing. This is a very smoky, feminine fragrance. And I say feminine, I think a man could wear this too possibly, but it just smells dark and deep and sensuous. I also have this body mist that I picked up from Ross for like five bucks. So after I showered, I put the body mist on, then I doused myself in this. <sighs> you just get your hands on it, okay? Next, I layered with Finery's Sweet on the Outside. These are dupes for fragrances. Of course, if I can find the fragrances that it should be duping and notes and things like that, you'll see it here on the screen. But this smells so good. It's a sweet gourmand. You've got vanilla. I want to say a little bit of tonka bean in here. This smells so good. And then for the last layering piece, I did Finery's Midnight, Midnight Cafe. Now, I will say that Midnight Cafe and Midnight Orchid are very similar to me, which is why they actually make a perfect pairing, in my opinion. They, they go very well together. But this one has a kick of that coffee note that I just love. Now, I do know for a fact that this one is supposed to be doing YSL's Black Opium, and I think it is great. It does give you that DNA and that same feeling. And these two, like I said, pair well together. This adds a little bit of extra sweetness. But these two together, especially with the coffee note that's heavy in this one, girl, you'd be smelling amazing. So I will have these linked down below. You will thank me later. They work well. They, you know, they last fairly well, in my opinion, especially for the price point. I think these are $30 at Target. This was, I think, $15, but I think it retails for maybe 50 bucks. I can tell you this. When I run out of this, and you can see there's a bit, of a, a bit of a dent there. And with these, there's an even bigger dent. Like, girl, please. I can tell you, when I run out of this, if I can't find it at TJ Maxx or Marshalls, I will purchase it retail. And uh, I will be repurchasing these when I run out of them. So, you're welcome. All right, let's get on to these shoes, girl, because I got some good ones for you. So, as I said, we're doing trendy, designer-inspired shoes that you can find on Amazon from Dream Pairs. Let's get into our first pair. 
Now, for the sake of not getting in any trouble or anything, you'll see the original or inspiration, and then I'll show you what I have. This first one is a colored shoe because just because it's fall and winter does not mean your wardrobe has to be boring. This first shoe, this was really, really popular, and I think that it is still going to have a moment. It's still a time for it. It's satin. It's sexy. I love this shoe. Love this shoe. This color, this pink, this vibrant pink color pairs perfectly with purple, pairs perfectly with chocolate brown, which if you do not know, chocolate brown is a color that is trending. Put this on with chocolate brown. They work so well together. Not to mention, this is a platform. It's going to be extremely comfortable. Um, you can wear this all day, in my opinion, and I just love it. I think this is so good, and I think that with some chocolate brown, Girl, you will eat the girlies up. This original shoe that this looks like. Now, I'll say this too about inspired shoes. Um, Everybody is inspired by everybody. So there's a Versace shoe that this is similar to. There's a Valentino shoe that this is similar to. I want to say that it started with Prada. So this could look like a bunch of different shoes. But the one that I feel like it looks exactly like is the one that you're seeing here. But uh, they range anywhere from 300 to the thousands for these type of shoes. So this is a great alternative. I think you'll be really impressed with it. I love the quality of it. And like I said, it is a platform, so it will be comfortable to wear for an extended amount of time. You could bring the, you could wear this to pop any color to any outfit that you're wearing. And I think it's just going to bring you some interest. I actually love that it matches just the little arm on my glasses i may we're doing all black on sunday i may pop these out with all black and these glasses i that's market it's happening all the dream pair shoes run true to size in my opinion if not a little large so i think that in some size some styles you could probably um go down a half a size but for the most part i think they run fairly true to size if you've got a wider foot, you'll probably want to stick to your size. If your foot is a little more narrow, you could probably go down a half a size. I've said a number of times on my channel that if I were a shoe, I would be a loafer. Loafers are my go-to type of shoe, and I love a good chunky loafer. Some say that the chunky loafers are going out. Um, I disagree. I think that they're going to be a staple Um but a loafer in any style is going to be good to have. Right now, they're doing the loafers in the platform. You've seen the Gucci ones that are really tall and flat. Those are happening right now. But also a classic regular loafer. For me, they're very they're interchangeable with like a sneaker or whatever. And it'll still give you a smart, semi-casual look if you want. And I love a loafer. You can never go wrong with one. So when I saw this one, it immediately reminded me of this designer one and I think it is the perfect alternative to it. I love this color. If you're somebody who is like, oh, we can't do white in winter or fall, this color is going to be perfect for you because it's like an ecru off-white cream color that still gives you the brightness of a white but not so bright that you feel like it's a little out of place or it's outdated or it's stale. This is so good and I love the flat the platform on this. These are my go-tos. I love a good loafer. If I'm wanting to be comfortable but still look put together or do a semi-casual business look, it's going to be a loafer every time for me. And with this one, with this gold embellishing here, I just think it just looks so expensive. These are faux leather, but they look like amazing quality. And I mean... Hello? Do you want to pay $1,200 or do you want to pay... The Amazon designer dupe price. I will take the Amazon designer dupe price for 200 Alex. Please and thank you. Love these. And they're super comfortable. Love this color. You cannot go wrong with this. Super sturdy. Very nice quality. Uh, again, they're faux leather, but you couldn't tell. I mean, I think they're great. Next thing that I'm always rocking in the fall and winter time is a sneaker. 
the dad sneakers or the chunky sneakers are still very much having a moment. And when I saw these, they immediately reminded me of a sneaker that I'd seen that I absolutely loved. This one is so good because it does have silver in it. It has black in it. It has white in it. And it has elements of tan, which I attribute to gold. To me, they're in the same family. So for me, I love to mix my metals. As you can see with my jewelry, I wear a lot of gold. I wear a lot of silver together. So these are perfect and they are picking up on that trend perfectly. Just like these designer ones here, they look identical. I mean, they have the same style elements. They have the same, you know, features on them. They're not identical in the sense that they don't have any labels or anything, but it's giving the same vibe. It's giving the same feel. And I think that if you are looking for these, these are a great alternative and they are super comfortable. Super, super comfortable. The cushion on the inside of these is great. And then I just, they're, they're so sturdy. They are so sturdy and very, very well made. I've, of course, done dream pairs before. I have several dream pair of shoes. And for me, you can't go wrong with the quality for the price. You definitely get your bang for your buck. And these are no different. Dress these up like with something I'm wearing like right now. I love to do a leather moment with a hoodie. You could even throw this on with some wide leg trousers. Just the possibilities are endless and I love a good sneaker moment with a little fitted or snapback. Yes, please and thank you. We're getting down to the wire. You guys, we're halfway through. This next pair, if you know anything about me, you know I'm a classy, I'm a sophisticated lady and I love Chanel. I love Chanel. It has a lot to do with the fact that my middle name is Chanel, but I just think that the brand is classic. The styles are classic. And for me, you just can't get more luxe than that. So when I saw these shoes, I immediately thought, oh my gosh, it's given Chanel and I cannot wait. Get into these. This is just a really elegant shoe. It's a classic shoe. Chanel has an iteration of this every season and I just think you cannot go wrong with it. Of course, you've got the cap toe here and I think that they play around with the shape of the toe. And I do think that you can get like a pointy. This is more of an almond. They have some square. So from season to season, the shape of the toe may change, but the style of the shoe remains the same. And it's no secret what this shoe is giving. I mean, please and thank you. This shoe is so good. And the cushion, honey, I don't know if you could see it, but the cushion in this shoe is so comfortable. This is a staple for me. This is definitely something that I would wear to work when I'm wanting to give a more comfortable, semi-casual, but not really. You could throw this on with a trench, with some jeans, and then you could do be, be given like semi-casual. But you could also throw this on with a blazer and some wide leg slacks. And it would, just, ugh, just, girl, just the perfect shoe. The heel height is perfect comfortable, not doing too much, but still saying I can dress. I'm still that chick. I'm still classy. I'm still elegant. Guys, this one, this one right here, please and thank you. This is like a textured, um, like a cloth material, textile material where the rest of the shoe is like a faux leather. And I went with this classic color because it's neutral. It'll go with so many things. But of course, there are other colors that you could have. Um, I think they have like plain white with the black toe. So you got options, but for me, this classic will never, never go out of style. Never. You're welcome. Now this next pair is definitely on trend. If you've not been living under a rock, you know this. But I had to at least get one pair because guys, you cannot get away from it. It's the Western trend. Yes, please. Get a look at this. Get a look at this. This boot is so good. I just, I love it. I love it. It's a knee high boot. The details in it are so nice. This chocolate brown, again, like I said, chocolate brown is a color that is trending. Now for me, it's a staple in my wardrobe. It's a fall staple color, but it is really trending. So you're seeing lots of options in brown now. So if you're interested in the color, now's the time to pick it up. But it's going to always and forever be a staple during the season because brown is just a fall color, period. But these are so good. I was so in love. And then they've got like a little bit of leather trim in black. 
I love black and brown together. A lot of people think it's a faux pas and that you shouldn't mix the two colors, but I disagree. They look so good together with a like brown um, two-piece suit and a black turtleneck. Brown and black are the perfect color combination. Whoever said that it wasn't is crazy. But get into these. Get into these. The price difference, you can't, you can't beat it. Um, I love the details on this. Just the small details like the shape of this here heel. It's of course going to be comfortable. Look at how wide that is. These are so good. And these are knee high. And this is a great way to play with the trend without spending three or $400. Because first of all, cowboy boots are mad expensive. And authentic ones can tend to be a little uncomfortable or hard. Not uncomfortable. They're hard to break in. But once you break them in, I've heard that they're the most comfortable things in the world. I have several pair of authentic, genuine cowboy boots. Um, and they are comfortable. But you do have to put a little bit of wear into them because they start to mold to your foot. These, comfortable out the gate comfortable out the gate and they give the look that you're looking for and I love how tall these are I really want to wear this with like a denim dress and give that western vibe but then throw on like a fitted or a snapback because I love to contrast dress that's just my style of dressing and something like this is perfect for that and so this is a great way for you to play with the style see if you like the western it might not be for you but at least you didn't spend four or five hundred dollars trying to trend that you didn't even like okay you're welcome. And last, but certainly not least, a shoe that has been taking the internet and soccer moms near you by storm. Y'all, this shoe, if when I pull it out, you don't know what shoe it's reminding you of or it's inspired by, you're under a rock. Baby. Get what? So, to me, this is definitely giving Adidas Samba or Puma or whatever. Like, of course, this style of sneaker, everybody has done it. Um, but this is definitely giving that. And I have a pair of Sambas that I absolutely love. So glad that I have them. When I say I have worn those things out, I snatch and grab them every chance that I get. They're super comfortable and they just really do. They go with everything. But I really wanted a black pair with the white leather trim on it because I think it's classic and I think it's cute. I love the contrast of the white on the black. Baby, when I saw these, I said, you're kidding. This immediately gave me all the same vibes and feels. I've worn these already a couple of times. Um, super, super comfortable. Now, these are the only shoes that actually do have some genuine leather on them. The suede on these is actually real suede. The rest of the shoe is faux leather, but the, the suede part on here is genuine suede. The quality of this shoe is so good and it fits like a glove, like with thick socks, because I don't know about y'all, but in the summertime, I mean, in the wintertime, in the fall, I like to wear chunky socks. And so that works perfectly with these. I also love this gum sole, brings so much character to the look. The way that these will pair with any leather, like, and I don't know about y'all, but because the Sambas are so popular, it's hard to get your hands on them, right? They're not just readily available. And I actually had to search for the pair that I got. So to have some that are readily available, and again, in multiple colors available, of course, I have everything linked down below for you guys to shop. But baby, when I tell you these are the lick, these are the lick. Please, I love these. And I actually love the little design. It's obviously not an Adidas sign and it's not a, a fake or anything like that, but it is inspired and it's giving you all the feels. And I'm all the way here for it. Of course, I will style all of these in different ways in near in future looks and things like that. Let me know how you which pair you want to see me style up. Let me know which pair was your favorite, which ones you're going to run out and get. Tell me, did I dupe it or didn't I? Did, did dream pairs do it or did they not? 
you can't tell me that they didn't because literally every pair of shoes eats down and I'm super excited to be able to bring them to you guys because you can always have the look for less. You do not have to spend a whole bunch of money to look good. I cannot tell y'all how many times people stop me and tell me how good that I look and when I tell them it's thrifted or it's from Amazon, they are flabbergasted, okay? So, you guys are welcome. I have another Amazon video coming up for you guys too and um, hopefully you guys like all of the things that I'm bringing to you because tis the gift season to come up. Gift season, gift giving season is coming up. So I'm shooting you ideas right now. Okay. Again, let me know which pair was your favorite. Which would you like to see me style up and which piece, which ones are you getting? If you're anything like me, you're picking them all up. Yeah. Uh huh. Please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Make sure that you are following me on Like to Know It. If you want to see me style some things or how I've worn things, you can check me out on Like to Know It. I'm on TikTok, I'm on Instagram, and Facebook. Everything is always linked down in my description box below. Also, my link tree is down there. So check your girl out on all social media platforms. Be kind to each other, love on each other, and we will see you guys next time. I love y'all. Bye.